You ever, Remember. Seen, you ever seen a stripper dance like P. Diddy? Cardi B? Doesn't Cardi B dance like that? She don't dance no more. Oh, they're, make, I'm, but they're still approving her like dancing. Yeah. I, I actually haven't seen her like perform. She don't dance anymore. That's the whole part of the song. No. First topic of the day, OJ is out. And he is out here making all types of stuff happen. He back. So basically what, what happened is OJ Simpson recently got released from prison and after serving nine years for a Las Vegas kidnapping and armed robbery and upbeat, OJ Simpson walked out of Nevada prison with a little fanfare early Sunday to start a new life as a parolee. Um, so basically, hide all your white women. Hi. <laughs> um, all of them. Kardashians. <laughs> hide under the... We are all in danger. All oh. your belongings are in danger. Everything that you have is in danger because or, OJ is out. Or do we finally got somebody who can stop Trump? Do you think he's about to take it upon himself to <laughs> take down Trump? Yeah, I, I can see I George so. Zimmerman. Like, all right, I understand George Zimmerman. Like, oh, he's gonna go find him, take him down, do the thing. I'm going. To, I'm going to find you. Probably not today, not tomorrow, but I'm going to find you, and I will kill you. That was a weird like <laughs> cross between like Sylvester Stallone oh my God. <laughs> and Darth Vader. Darth I don't know what I don't know what you were going for with that voiceover. It was the dude from Taken. Well, you wasn't taking a good job uh, of figuring out how to do that voice. I, I got to practice that one. I think, what do you, all right, if you were OJ, right? I'm not OJ. I said what I said. All right. If you were OJ, and you were getting out on parole, and you got, you got a fresh take on life, what is the first thing you about to do? Record my first day out song. A little T Grizzly S. Yeah. yeah. Um, because they was praying for his downfall. Because he'd been in there, what, nine years? Nine years. years. They was praying for his downfall. Have he was he... in longer than T. Grizzly, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Have he had Chipotle? Yeah, I'd go get some Chipotle. Try the queso. <laughs> Do not try the queso no, no. at all. Don't even touch it's it. It's bad? It's, I don't really be messing with queso anyway, but uh, I've heard zero good things about it. Change the recipe, Chipotle, because we really not happy with it. Well, I haven't tasted it, but... You just do what I Chili's think, did. Yeah, like, yeah, just ch change the recipe, you know, figure out how to make it work, or just scratch the whole idea. Yeah. But, anyway, OJ is apparently not allowed to drink alcohol in excess, but I'm like, whose call is that? Like, who's, who's like, oh, well, it seems like you've been having a little bit too much tonight, OJ. Looks like you're in violation of your parole. <laughs> like you had one drink over the, the excess. Like yeah, well, and he can't hang out with ex-convicts. But then isn't that like all his yeah. friends? <laughs> all the players. Like he can't hang out with none of his friends. And he So can't, basically he's still in prison. So basically just like outside in prison. America. <laughs> Next topic of the day, all three Kardashian. Well, I said all three, like uh, Courtney, not a Kardashian, and uh, I mean, and she the, had, the other girl. She had a, what, we don't, I don't she even had, know the other she girl's she name. Jenner. Oh, she Kylie Jenner. No, Kendall. Kylie. But they're a Kardashian. What is the show called? Keeping up with the Kardashians. It's not called Keeping up with the Kardashians keeping and a couple with, Jenners. Keeping up with the baby mama. Yeah. So basically, according to reports from TMZ, three of the Kardashian Jenner extended family are now pregnant just in time, coinky dink, for the 10th anniversary of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. And according to rumor posted on a blind item gossip site, Blind Gossip, family matriarch Kris Jenner, she always up to something has been planning for this occasion for at least three years. To get I them think, all pregnant? That's I think, yo. <sighs> yes, yes. She was the mastermind behind the whole Ray J tape. So you telling me that and this is Lamar, beyond it, huh? And Lamar Odom? And yeah, she's the one who got Lamar Odom on and, crack. And Fat Ye West? She's the one who plumped him up. I'm telling she got you, she's home cooking. She's like, "Come here, baby, stir her spoon." You know, good one. Well, Chris Jenner cannot cook. 
Look, look at it. Look at it. Can she cook? Does she look like she can cook? Kind of like casserole and like fruit salad. I don't like. <laughs> I have these nice watercress sandwiches <laughs> that I would love for you to taste at this outing. But like seriously, do you really think she can cook? And do you think that this is beyond her capability of being able to plan three daughters' pregnancies we, concurrently? I think we should hook her up with OJ. She's gonna be gone, and and the that's the point. <laughs> and the Kardashians will be done for because the Kardashians Chris, has fallen. Because without Kris Jenner, there's no more Kardashians. There's, it's, it's over. They they not they just not gonna be famous anymore. She like the head alien. I think. Well, all right. So the whole thing, the whole saying is, uh, cut off the head of the snake, and the other one grows in its place. But right. well, who is gonna be the evil Kardashian mastermind if Kris Jenner is the? I think Kim gonna step up in the, the little totem pole. She too busy with North and the other baby. South? With East and West. <laughs> just, so they, yeah, they gonna have a West-West baby. What is the middle coordinate? Just Center. Center. Center West. I made that up. You really went with that. <laughs> <laughs> Where you go? I'm going center, bro. <laughs> but I really think that it's more, it's more to come. It's more to come because- Lamar more babies. <laughs> Somebody else getting pregnant, but no, more oh, to come God. just with the Kardashians because what happens is they always lay low on the rumors just in time for another season of the show and whatnot so they can express whatever happened on the show, up their ratings, and boom. That's how they keep the whole Kardashian thing going. It's a smart move. I mean, You gotta get somebody pregnant to up our ratings. I'm thinking uh, Beyonce or Rihanna. I think Rihanna would be the move because I don't want to have to mess with Jay-Z. Okay, you want some beef, huh? Yeah, no, I don't want no oh, beef because I can't rap. She got the, uh, the the rich dude, though. I'm rich in spirit. Okay, that's all that matters. Spirit Airlines. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we going to Vegas. A, take a cheap flight. <laughs> you want to go to Vegas with me? $100. Do you want to go to Vegas? But no, seriously. We can go see. No, I'm going to stop. I'll go. Wait, what? That's where OJ at. In Vegas. Oh! <laughs> Stay away from OJ, Chris, oh. or you'll be gone. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I think it's planned. The next season's coming up, and we can expect a lot more from these Kardashians. Also, in some more news, we got Black China. Boom. Black bushy mix with China. Anyway, Black China's lawyer Lisa Bloom revealed that the reality star is resolved to get justice after her ex fiance Rob Kardashian and his younger sister Kylie Jenner filed a lawsuit against her. Basically, the, her lawyer Lisa Bloom said that the language in the lawsuit was very ugly and false. Very ugly, very false. <laughs> and she told That's reporters. A lie, huh? And she told the reporters the allegations are false. Robert Kardashian and Black China share baby dream. I don't know why you would name your baby dream. He just entered into a case where he promised to not disparage her and now this. So basically, he just don't want to pay this twenty thousand a month, probably because he can't. I could, I can't pay twenty thousand dollars a month, and Black China don't need twenty thousand dollars a month, and she ain't even got custody of the child. Who right. pays child support when they're the person taking care of the child? She taking that money and like going on trips and stuff, and she, she modeling and and all types of stuff, fake product lines, probably slut walks with Amber Rose. I don't know what she's doing. It's going to launch my music career. Yeah, I don't know. She Black China about to be the next Cardi B. Except it's gonna be like black tea or something. Like it's gonna be something. <laughs> She's like, these is black bottoms. These is China shoes. <laughs> if I got them both. Like I don't know. But I just don't think. I think I don't know. I think Black China's taking advantage of Rob. What do you think? She definitely is. And she's soaking I, him like a sponge. Man, but he's trying to stay strong though. He's not strong. He, he, look at him. He's not strong. Does he look strong to you? He is weak. And that's why he likes suing and stuff. Like, I, <laughs> and then my whole, take you to court. My whole, thing, my whole thing is like, I love you. <sighs> Rob mm -hmm. should have stayed with Adrian Baylon. Adrian, the girl from uh, the, the Cheetah Girls. The, I mean, she was in 3LW, but we all remember as Cheetah Girls too. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what they like market her as. And they just date everybody nowadays. You, if you, you got a date in the like the field, you can't be out here dating these nobodies. That's why I'm trying to like date Rihanna. <laughs> you, I'm really praying for it. I feel like I'm if a, I can date I'm Rihanna, pray for you. No, but pray for me and Rihanna together is a, a union partnership, so I can get these monthly checks like Nick Cannon got when he was married to Mariah Carey. And look where he at. Still getting some type of monthly check because <laughs> <laughs> like he's still getting some type of monthly check from Mariah Carey. 
So that's my whole point. <laughs> Marry up the food chain, get these monthly checks. Don't be like Rob Kardashian because you're going to have to be able to pay like $20,000 a month. All right. Question of the day. Is it stupid to take back someone who's wronged you multiple times, even if it seems like they've changed? We have some responses on our social media platform, and it looks like Lady. Olivia Durrell said, when people show you who they are, believe them. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, thrice, etc. shame on me. Attach no expectation to X number of chances and do not waste energy on feelings of betrayal or hurt. If they fail you, trust what you see, not what they say. Those were some wild words there. That's deep stuff. They, they getting deep on these uh, questions of the days and I think they, they out here conquering these days for real. They been if, hurt. If you, oh, basically uh, make sure you watching our Fridays as well, conquering your days. Yeah, I'm plugging something that's also on the channel. Make sure you watch it. Shout and let's get squad. back to this question of the day. But anyway, <laughs> we also had Terrence Payne Jr. say yes, because at the end of the day, if they can do it once, they can do it again. And if they've already done it multiple times, <laughs> then it's a habit right. and bad habits don't die easily. All right, you done let it happen. If yeah, I, I feel like if you let, I feel like people only gonna do what you allow them to do. So yeah, true. if in, in any type of partnership, relationship, et cetera, if somebody wrongs you and you don't come to them and say, yo, I'm not gonna accept that. And if you're gonna continue to do that, I'm out. You really got to put your foot down. And it's all about communication, consistency, and compromise. Right. If you got those type of things in a relationship, no matter what people are showing you, they're going to make sure they're putting their best foot forward. And if they best foot forward ain't good enough, then you got to hit the dough. You got to do like Martin said on the show. He's like, get the step in. <laughs> Classic. And you got to kick them out because you can't have that type of negativity in your life. Preach. I mean, Preach. If, if, if you got negativity all around you, come on. If you got negativity all around you, um, <laughs> you got to get rid of it. <laughs> Hallelujah. But no, anyway, that was our question today. We got a few responses out there. Um, I think we want to hit one more right now. Right now, it says Emmanuel S. Williamson, don't bring something dead back to life. <laughs> you ain't Jesus. Put him in the car. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Yo, if, you, if you're if you trying to bring something dead back to life, you or relationships, per people, bad situations, just don't do it because it's not supposed to be that way. Yeah, no. Nah. I'm Willie B. And I'm Ill Will. And this is Will Talk. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on those push notifications, and make sure you follow us at The Q Brand. I don't know why you ain't do it yet. Peace.